The biggest GTA 6 leak has been spreading like wildfire over the weekend and the last couple of days. What's going on, guys? My name is Ross, or Mr. Boss for the win. We'll be diving into the contents of that leak, seeing if it's real, and why it is spread just so much. So I'm just going to be focusing on one social media platform, but I want to show you some examples of what I'm talking about here and how this whole thing just started spreading. So again, I'm just focusing on Twitter. You might have seen it on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, whatever the case might be. But these are just three examples of how crazy this is spread. And what's funny is they're all using the same image. This first from the account Rap, just in GTA 6, is rumored to take place in Columbia slash Miami and could be here as soon as 2023. And you guys can see that picture of what looks to be downtown Miami. And then you've got the GTA 6 logo or a made up one. And you can see just how much traction it's getting. Almost 11,000 retweets, almost 4,000 quote tweets, and 125,000 likes, which is insane. From Watcher Guru, GTA 6 leaks suggest a story will take place in Columbia, Miami, and will include in game cryptocurrency rewards for players to earn and trade. The exact same image, almost 5,000 retweets, a little over 1,000 quote tweets and nearly 21,000 likes. And then from Say Cheese, alleged GTA 6 leak from a Rockstar Games insider, claims the story will take place in Cuba, Colombia, and Miami, and will be set in 2023 or 2022. With almost 6,000 retweets, 3,400 quote tweets, and 42,000 likes. So you can see just a couple of examples right there that really does show you that this information was spreading like wildfire. And it makes you wonder, where was this information coming from? Because we had heard rumors and reports like that in the past that it was going to take place in South Florida and might feature parts of Central or South America. And it could be here as soon as 2023 that it might include things like cryptocurrency rewards for players to earn and trade. But where was this last batch of information popping up from? And apparently it is a leaked document. It's called Grand Theft Auto 6 Mega Leak. I'll leave a link to it in the description. There's a good chance it could be removed. I don't know who ended up posting it, but I will leave it for you guys in the description if you want. And so it starts with this, Rockstar Games, Grand Theft Auto 6, with the Roman numeral 6. We're assuming that's going to be the title. This is the alpha script, last updated on June 26, 2022. You can see there, title, Grand Theft Auto 6, developer, Rockstar Games, publisher, Take-Two Interactive, development, officially began in 2024 using the Rage engine. The story length is pretty long. You can see it's 4,500 minutes, which is an interesting way to describe the length of time, but it roughly translates to 75 hours. So that's a long time for the story. We have our main characters, Ricardo, Casey, and Rose. So if this is to be true, not only would this confirm that we're getting multiple characters, but also one of our playable characters is going to be a female, which would be the first time in the GTA series. The story map size is 140 square miles. That's massive. To give you a comparison of Grand Theft Auto 5, GTA 5 is around 30 square miles. So that would mean that this map is coming in at about five times bigger, around four to five times bigger than GTA 5, which is crazy, but it includes Liberty State, Carcer City, Vice City, Cottonmouth, and the prologue taking place in South America. The time setting being 2023, so modern day. You can see the production budget, $500 million, with an estimated sales of a billion dollars in a day. You can see the final marketing budget. The planned announced reveal is Q3 2022, which would mean later this year. And planned release would be Q4 2024, which would be October, November, December, obviously in 2024. So we got a lot of details right there, and that's just kind of cracking the surface. We know how long the game is. That it's going to take place with multiple characters in multiple cities with a huge map. And then it's planned to come out 2024, announced later this year, and be set in a modern time frame. And you guys can see here that this document talks about a lot. It goes into details of our three main characters, Ricardo, Rose, Casey, side characters, miscellaneous, the wanted system, gameplay features, advanced tactical system, ground vehicles, soundtrack, story, GTA Online, 
It even talks about previous leaks in the past, like, for example, voice actors and motion capture artists accidentally referencing that they did work for Grand Theft Auto 6, or documents suggesting Rockstar is doing work in South Florida and is looking for areas to check out so that they can model their game, or whether it's hearing from the likes of insiders like Tom Henderson or whatnot. It really goes into an incredible amount of detail, and unfortunately, that's why I think this whole thing is fake. For one person who was able to leak this, to have all of this information, that is an extraordinary amount of details. You guys can see, or you could have seen, that it was 106 pages and four hours of reading pleasure just to dive in to all of this. I don't think one person, unless it's Sam Hauser or it's like the head of Rockstar, has all this information. I guarantee you that there's multiple different teams working on multiple different things. Like I'll give you an example. Someone that might be writing the story of the game might not necessarily know every single vehicle that's gonna be listed. And if you read the document, they have basically every single vehicle that's going to be listed there. So I don't think one person is going to know everything. It's kind of like having the recipe to a secret meal or something like that. One person's going to know one ingredient. Another person's going to know another ingredient. And then when it all gets mixed together, it works. But one person isn't able to recreate all this information. So I will leave this entire thing in the description it goes into a lot of detail, way too long for me to cover in this video today. I will let you make this assumption for yourself. I guess only time will tell, and when the game eventually does come out, we're going to be able to come back to this and say, hey, is any of it real or is any of it fake? I'm leaning 99.9% .9 fake, but I'm always going to have that 1% that something might be true here. Now, the only problem here is there's so much information to digest that knowing what turns out to be true and what isn't might be a little bit difficult. But so far, it sounds like a really good game. If this is to be believed, the information regarding this leak or supposed leak is spreading like wildfire online. So obviously take it with a grain of salt. Now, last but not least today, one of the insiders featured in that news article, Tom Henderson, who's had details on GTA 6 in the past, that have been confirmed and corroborated by other reputable gaming journalists. He ended up saying this, I'm assuming this dates back to my original report over a year ago. I have not had any updates on such features, and I would definitely treat this with a grain of salt. It's just a rumor from a game in very turbulent development. So that's an interesting thing he says there, turbulent development. And then he followed up by saying, I still believe the game is releasing in 2024. Slash 2025. I'm referring to Turbulent because it hasn't been plain sailing, just like with every other game in development during COVID, etc. People leaving and whatnot. And obviously, with a massive project like this, you would expect there to be lots of bumps in the road and some issues. But this is where I'm going to leave things off today. What do you guys think about this leak and this report that is spreading like wildfire on social media? Let me know what you guys think in those comments down below or on my Facebook page. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.